and welcome. Today I have a beautiful unboxing of gorgeous goodies that my wonderful, generous, and very kind, amazing friend, title, name of the video, her name's Jeannie from Unfiltered 50s. Today, like I said, I'll be unboxing this gorgeous box from Jeannie. The box itself is a melt box, which is fun because I get the beautiful stuffs on the inside of the box. I like the box at Budimus. So I'm gonna kind of try and keep this as like a mystery box type thing as possible and grab things out and not look. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm kind of like shook about already, she gave me the Tarty Beauty Blenderful. <laughs> okay. I think she knows I was saying I'd like to try this, so I'm very happy to get this. I'm excited as fuck because it means I'm going to be able to try it. I think this one comes with the small and the big one, which will be a lot of fun to play with the small mini for the under eye type work and the larger one for all over the face. Next thing I'll grab out, the little box for you. Ooh, this is a little Hank and Henry product. This is the Luster Lights. I wonder if it's the same as what the colour of the box is. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, you silver. So this is called Helix. This is a liquid eye shimmer. So I've already gotten two gorgeous products so far. Third item reaching into the box. Oh, what are you? Hello. Ah! So this is a little Steeler Shimmer and Glow liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade Kitten. So I believe Kitten is a quite popular best-selling shade from Steeler and I've never tried one of these products from Steeler before so this will be a lot of fun to play with. Oh, looks so pretty in the tube. Keep on going further, I'll quickly mention there's 34 items in this box because Jeannie had to write down how much was in there. This would have been useful. I got a little brush cleany thingy that is like a little finger glove. It has the different textures inside of the silicone for doing, I'm assuming these will be for eye brushes and this will be for face brushes, which that is a lot of fun. I wanted to get like a little silicone mat or something like that to do cleaning of brushes and such. So that's a lot of fun to have to be able to use. Oh, small thing. This <laughs> so I got beautiful little jar of glitter. This is from Lele Posh. I've never been able to try Lele Posh item yet. I don't know if they ship to Australia, but I just haven't looked into it yet. But this is a glitter called Iced Out. These look fun. So these are some estate lashes and they actually look like they might have a little bit of blue in them. They do. These actually have black and blue fibers in them. So this would be a lot of fun use in looks kind of like this, where I have a bright, large amount of color all over the face. And that would be fun just to add a little pop. You got some blue. Oh, that's so fun. I don't believe this, this style has a name, but these are handmade. They're vegan, cruelty free, which is always a bonus. Next thing I'm grabbing out, a little tubey. Ooh, so this is a wet and wild liquid cat suit. So it's a liquid eyeshadow. And I always like using these type of liquid eyeshadows because they tend to also be a nice base for if I want to use glitter and stuff. Next item in the box. Another pair of estate lashes. These ones are just more wispy type. These aren't colored. These are just black lashes. That's fun though. Always like having new lashes to play with. Ooh. Jeannie got me a mini set of the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal liquid eyeshadows. So these are duochrome liquid eyeshadows, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at the packaging. Like I said, they're minis. So this darker shade is called Space and this lighter shade is called Disco. Oh my gosh, Jeannie's spoiling me, what the heck? She at least knows the way to my heart, getting me all of the liquid eyeshadows and shiny shit. <laughs> she knows I'm like a bird. What are you? Ooh. This is a colored rain matte lip paint. This is in the shade Butterscotch. Beautiful. It has a fun, kind of bubblegum pink lid. Even though I've got a lot of color going on my face right now, I actually, surprisingly enough, really like a nude lip, even though I go usually for very bright, colorful eye. Next. Oh, what are you? Oh, uh, okay. So this is the card from one of the things I know that was in this box, because I will explain this goes along with it. Jeannie actually was generous enough to purchase one of the Trend Mood boxes. So this is the card that goes with the one size beauty products that come in the Trend Mood box. So some, at some point I'll be grabbing out the 
blurring primer and powders. Ooh, another Lele Posh. I think Lele Posh. So another Lele Posh glitter pot. This one's in the shade Cha-Ching. So that is a, it's like white iridescent with a pink and green reflex. Has a nice metallic green lid, while the other Lele Posh had blue. Maybe they're different collections. Who knows? Okay, so this is one of the Wet n Wild multi sticks. This is, is there a shade name on it? Ready, set, go. I got a couple of these from Joe in different colours. I've got a blue and a silver white one, I believe. But this is pretty. This will go quite nicely with some of these liquid eyeshadows that I got. It actually would be quite nice one to go with either the Steeler or this other Wet n Wild. Budamas. Oh, ooh, what are you? Ooh. So I believe this is another product that came inside of the Trend Mood box. This is a KVD Dazzle Stick, and this is in the shade Electro Bolt. This is the actual component for it. This is the Dazzle Stick. It has a gorgeous, like, coppery gold lid, black tube, and it just slides off in the shiny stick. Oh. Jeannie has gifted to go alongside my gorgeous blush collection that I've got going on. A full size of the Rare Beauty blushes. What shade are you? I don't know what... So this was the mini that I had, but this is the full size that Jeannie just gifted me. So this is a gorgeous shade. I really do gravitate to this. It's actually quite similar looking to my Mecha Max stick blush. This will be gorgeous. This is in the shade Joy with the fun little handle. Oh. What a fun, unique shaped wand. That would definitely be a fun one to play with at one point because I really do like these colours, especially all well, these tones as blushes on me. I think I'm going to have to start grabbing multiple things out. So, I found some Sydney Graces. Jeannie did mention that I'll be getting some single shadows from, oh, some, not single, sorry, just products from Sydney Grace in general because she did have quite a few that she wanted to gift on to me. These are two of the shades that I have. They probably have names on the insides. I'll be doing a separate video with all the Sydney Grace things, so I'll go through shades names of products and such of these like singles when I actually do that video which will come very soon after I film and upload this video. So I got two two Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadows so this one looks a bit more brown while this one's kind of more goldy gorgeous shades. I love liquid eye products in general, especially as bases. I've been really getting into using the Danessa Myricks white base, which is what I currently use for my eyeshadow base as well as on my lips too. This, which is just the colour fix in the shade Lift. Oh, what is this? It's bubble wrapped. So I'll go through one by one. This is another Sydney Grace. This is a highlighter in the shade Making Jam. Goldy bronze tone. Fun shade though. That would definitely be usable as my shadow. And then I have two more things in this little baggie. I have a Sydney Grace Loose Glitter. This is in the shade Berry Picking. And then one last glitter from Sydney Grace in this little baggie. This is the shade Fine Arts. So a bit more silver and it looks like it's got smaller and larger circles in it with some stars. So this is berry picking, this is fine arts. What are you? Ooh, I, I remember she was saying that she might. She chose to gift me this blush from Hourglass. This is the shade Incandescent Electra. I have been eyeing this shade off specifically for so long as it is a almost a dupe of the NARS Orgasm blush. I believe she actually had a, a double, so she gifted me this beauty. I actually have one other Hourglass blush and mine is an exclusive to Mecca, which is Australia's version of Sephora. Here, this is in the shade Mecca Glow. So now I have two beautiful hourglass blushes. So this is the new one, Incandescent Electra. This is my original one that I had called Mecha Glow. You can see different tones. That's definitely going straight in the bag. <laughs> the next product will be... Oh, I grabbed that because it's at the top and I opened it a bit far and I saw it. Ooh, so I got a Hank and Henry brush. This is the Sarah brush. It is a big fluffy face brush. So this would be good for setting powder, just papping it all over the face. Absolutely beautiful, very nice, very soft. And like I said, Hank and Henry Sarah brush. And I'm just gonna keep the little sleeve on it that will help keep it shaped. I'm not looking, I've got bucks, what are you? Okay, so this is one of the powders from one 
one size. The one size beauty setting powder. This is the deep shade. This one I obviously won't use anywhere near as much. It's always fun to have these type of products because you never know when and or if I'll ever do makeup on someone with a dark complexion. So it's always useful to have these. So it comes in a cute little jar like this, baby pink lid with the OS logo and it has the sifter pre-sealed. In the full size it has the O and S logo cut out. This one seems to have a bit more of a typical sifter. Oh I grabbed out two things at once so I was stuck together. I'll look at this one first. So I've got this beautiful Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. Ooh, that's like a, it's like a bronzy red color. This is in the shade Moonstone. Oh my gosh, so many beautiful products. Now this one I'm very excited for. This was also one of the products that was specifically purchased for me as part of like a trend mood box. So this is one of the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames. This one she made five new shades in total I believe and two of them she put, not as exclusives, but she put them inside of the trend mood box. And this is in the shade Passion. Oh look at her. Look how stunning. Oh my god, even on camera it looks so phenomenally gorgeous. I have to try and contain myself with these. I do have this, this one I purchased. This was one of my first Danessa Myricks orders. This was the shade True Love. And then this is one of the new shades called Passion. Oh, she's feeling a bit lighter, but we've still got some stuff to go. Okay, so this is the other one size powder box. So this is the shade Translucent. This one I'll actually be able to use on my skin tone. I'll be able to try this out with my gorgeous Sarah brush from Hank and Henry. Like the other one has the pink lid with the red OS logo on the lid and same pattern sifter with the sticker on top of it to keep it fresh. I grabbed two things at once. Another single from Sydney Grace that looks gorgeous. That will go alongside my other two. This is the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I'm always intrigued in seeing new eyeshadow primer products. Millennial Pink Tube. This is made in South Korea. Cruelty Free is a vegan? I don't know. Oh, I grabbed another two things. I got another single shade for Sydney Grey. Cray Cray. <laughs> she bought me a full size. I think this is a full size of the Natasha Denona. This is in the shade Dragonfly, and I mean, so it has a kind of gold to red shift. I'm trying to show it in the bottle as much as possible. My God, Jeannie, you're spoiling me. This is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. Gold, this can go with my, um, I think I've got one more of my skin, 111, or whatever the brand's name is. Gold face mask thingy, so this would be nice addition to go alongside with that. This is the Renew Chibula Active Immunity Serum from True Botanicals. I've heard this is supposed to be quite nice. Let's open this up. This is the nice little bottle it comes in. It has a dropper lid as well, so you're not having to open and dip your fingers in, which will mean it will last a little bit longer in terms of shelf life, as far as I'm understanding. Always love to have a nice face serum. Hopefully I don't drop this one like I dropped my beautiful Vanessa Myrick serum. I got a mini of that to go alongside my Dew Wet highlighter and it spilled everywhere. I think we're getting very close to the end now, which is like, oh my gosh, finally. Not in a bad way. It's like, oh my god, so overwhelming having so much stuff. This is the other Vanessa Myrick's colour fix. So this one is the shade Young Love. Looks really quite pretty in that lid there. This one is, like I said, the shade Young Love. And this was the first shade I got, Passion. A bit hard to tell the differences inside of the tubes. That's Passion and that's Young Love. I'm trying to see they're slightly different. So this is the shade Passion and this top shade is Young Love. Buff them out a little bit. You can even use these as like highlighters, so. These will for sure be used as highlighter at one point in time. So I believe this is the last product now. This is the One Size Secure the Blur Primer. Like I was saying with the other two powders, this was coming alongside it in the Trend Mood box. Quite sleek packaging with that red like how we saw on the One Size powder lid, as well as that kind of millennial pink packaging for here. So that'll be a lot of fun to try out, the new blurring primer and the powders. And now just to make sure I don't accidentally throw away or forget anything. And I believe that's it. Oh, what a ridiculous haul. I have a ridiculous large amount of stuff now to go through and sort out and figure out the homes for. Thank you so much again, Jeannie, for 
for being generous enough to send me all of this stuff. I was I knew that she had purchased me the the trends mood box to gift on the one size beauty products, the serum and the new shades of the twin flames that I got. But everything else was unknown to me. I'm shocked at how much stuff there is. It's overwhelming. I'm excited though to play with all these gorgeous goodies, especially like these Sydney Grace products. Like I said, I'll be talking about them in a future video and playing with them because I've got the highlight of the glitters and these eye products. I think this is, might be a face product because it's a little bit larger than these single pan eyes. So that'll be a fun one to discover in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Love hearts to everyone. Love to you from Australia. Have a great rest of your night, rest of your day, rest of your morning. Bye bye everyone. I'm trying, oh my god this plastic is saying no. Not for you. Get the plastic off. Oh no. The boxes. It's not letting me have the product. What are you for? <laughs> I just found the bottom of something. Ready, set, go. Oh, that's right, this thing. So apparently the bottom of the, the stick fell out. Okay, I fixed the product. <laughs>